Good evening and welcome to Children's Storytime Classics. Today's book is The Bear Scouts by Stan and Jan Berenstein. I picked up this copy in a thrift store, one of the best places to get old children's books. It's such a wonderful thing. I recommend it highly. See, it's fairly worn. This book was published back in 1967 originally. Goodbye, Bear Scouts. Good luck. Have fun. Isn't Dad going camping with you, son? Not this time. We don't need Pa. We've got the Bear Scout Guidebook, Ma. It tells us all we need to know about camping out and where to go. A guidebook, son? Now, wait a minute. I know more than the book has in it. A smart bear opens his eyes wide and never needs a Bear Scout guide. Now, son, stop. Right here you'll see just why you need a guide like me. What would you do, my fine young scout, to get across when a bridge is out? The book says first, in such a spot, tie your rope with a bear scout knot. Scout knot, bah! A smart bear knows he has no need for one of those. He ties his own knot to the tree and safely crosses. Now watch me. We're here, scouts, but Dad is not. What has happened to his knot? On second thought, I'll stay with you so I can show you what to do. That campground is so far, you see. You really need a guide like me. Look here, Bear Scouts, your book can't show which way is the way to go. But a bear like me, a bear who's clever, takes the short way, the long way, never. But Papa, wait, here's a map in the book. It says to go the long way. Look. Well, you'll find me at the other end. A smart bear takes the short way, friend. Yow! On second thought, I'll come along, just in case something goes wrong. Now that I've brought you safely here, we'll get down this river. Never fear. Yes, Papa, look, here's a plan in the book. It shows us all we need to do to build a fine Bear Scout canoe. Build a canoe? That takes too long. A bear who's smart will know that's wrong. It's easy to see that's much too slow. I know a faster way to go. So long, Bear Scouts, toodaloo. You can have your slow canoe. I never like to wait around. I'll meet you at the camping ground. We're coming, Dad. Just grab the rope. The guidebook says there's always hope. On second thought, I'll go with you. Then I can show you what to do. If you go on and I do not, you'll never find your camping spot. You won't need the guidebook now. Here's where I really show you how. For this is where we set up camp, and I'm the world's camp setup champ. Now watch this. I'm really good at starting a fire by rubbing wood. Excuse me, Dad. That way's not right. The book says that will take all night. We'll try this way. It ought to light. Look, now our fire is burning bright. Bear Scouts, you're going to have a treat. I'll cook you something good to eat. A wise bear knows there's a meal to be found wherever he is if he just looks around.
I'll put in some eggs and fresh green weeds, some toadstools, then some roots and leaves, and presto changeo, a la kazoo. That's how I make my favorite stew. Dad, your stew is stewing well, but doesn't it have a funny smell? Besides, the book says for the best camp dish, take your rods and catch some fish. Fooey! On second thought, I'll share your meal. My stew's a bit too rich, I feel. Now, scouts, you'll find a bear who's bright will make his bed while it's still light. The guidebook says, page 88, put up your tents before it's late. Tents are for sissies. Be smart. Be brave. You haven't camped out till you've slept in a cave. Ow! That was quite a fall I took. You'd better come and bring that book. We're coming, Dad. No need to worry. We'll have you mended in a hurry. First bandage nose, then thumb, then head. Then put me on a rescue sled. Well done, Bear Scouts. We're nearly there. Thanks to your smart old Papa Bear. As I have told you all along, with a guide like me, you can't go wrong. Dad has shown us quite a lot about what's smart and what is not. The end. Thank you for reading along with me tonight. I hope you have a wonderful rest. Please subscribe.